Uh, yeah. Oh no. Maybe no. Not. Published by Square Electronics Arts LLC. Yeah, I totally remember the first time this started happening because it was always just SquareSoft, and then it's Square Electronic Arts. And you're like, what's happening? What? That's amazing. Now it's two companies. SquareSoft. Oh, is this officially the video? What's happening? Uh, I'm gonna skip that. I don't want to watch that. Does it take it? Now it just says Square. All right. Oh, right. That's, That's okay. We we can start here. So. Yeah. Boom. Welcome back to Chris and Annie Play. Uh, we're going to try something new today. We're going to be playing Parasite Eve uh, for PlayStation. Woo! Uh, Woo! <laughs> uh, roll, roll title. Oh. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know our theme music. La da 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 da. I don't know how it goes. You don't know our theme music. <laughs> the bad thing is, see, I haven't heard it that often, but by the time this airs, it will have played, like, dozens of times. So it's just like, how do you not know it by now? Oh, I know. Oh, jeez, I have heard it. Where does this game Far take- too much. Where does this game take place? New York City. Is that- Oh. Uh, Christmas time in uh, 1998. Alright. Oh, okay, so- Yes. I should have asked you before we started recording. Okay. Um- how about instead of actually reading all the dialogue in game, you replace it with uh, that guy's that guy's version? <laughs> uh, do I remember what you're uh, talking about? Oh, naked man puts put black bars on those gold oh, yeah. nipples. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I don't care if it's a statue; it's indecent. Put some clothing on it. Uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just get like a, a shirt and just put it on. <laughs> shirt. That should be a shirt <laughs> superimposed. Yeah, you're good. good. Uh, all right, guys. So uh, if you're a little bit younger and you're viewing this, or maybe you're older, uh, Parasite Eve is uh, what they called a cinematic RPG or action game. It's basically it came out at the same kind of time as like Resident Evil. <laughs> Um, so it has that kind of Resident Evil survival horror feel, but it really isn't survival horror. It's a, it's an RPG that's just played really weird. It's a lot of fun. Oh, so, totally. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to go through this. Oh, we got a namer. Oh, shit. We didn't check if it'll fit. Well, we're going to find out. All right. Uh, comma. Should I just go all lowercase? Because uh, it could appear somewhere in a sentence, right? It I might just, not do it. Be... just do it. Just do what? Just do what? What? No, Wait. it's, it's weight, comma. It we got eight. No, it won't fit. no, you can uh, only just right. do. Wait, what? All right, so what's her name gonna be? Oh, uh, oh, hot dog. Wait, no, let's lay. Let's lay. Zebra, zoologist, zoodles. All right, zoodles. <laughs> zoodles, it is. Her zoodles. name is the breast breakfast pastas. Yeah. What is death? What is it? Oh, default. You Shit. ruined the zoodles. Oh my god. Okay. Is it gonna be beefaroni this time? Yeah, will that fit? Let's try. Let's just call her Beef. All right, Beef it is. <laughs> She's all beefy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Beefs. 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 She's. Got, I got too much beefs with you. Beefs forty one. Beefs forty one. <laughs> if, if you're on YouTube uh, and your name is Beefs forty one, <laughs> Beefs. Um, but it. If there's anybody out there with the name Beefs forty one, I apologize for stealing your internet handle. <laughs> but maybe you're playing it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna do our best to like read some of the dialogue just, as we skip it. I, I'm uh, skipping to this because this is important. She's on a date with a guy she doesn't. She's not particularly interested in. So whatever. Yeah. Well, and somehow, even though I went in the door first, he's ahead of me. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell? This guy's magical. Why isn't and he? And he walks here? so slow. How is it possible that he could be ahead of you? He's the villain. He didn't even open the door for me. What an asshole. <sighs> I hate terrible this guy. date. I hate this guy. Terrible date. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. <laughs> okay, so I watched. I already told you this, but I watched Rock of Ages the other day. Yes, you did. And then I watched it again because yeah. I watched it with somebody else who had not seen it. And huh. I, the first time, I was just like, okay, I like this music because I like '80s rock and metal and stuff. I didn't care that they had like, gleed it, whatever. It was really enjoyable. And the second time I watched it. It was just like, oh, well, that's it. Every single one of these songs is going to be in my head for months now. I can't get them out, man. If I'm not making any audible sound, one of those songs is going on in my head. Hmm. So, yep. Okay, so this opera, 
is uh, this guy wants to marry this girl, and this girl wants to marry this guy. The king's like, no. So he's like, okay, I guess we're just gonna <laughs> die. Yeah. She's evil, apparently. She is evil. Spoil- Guard! Spoiler alert. Grab her. She actually is evil. And and burn her at the stake. Oh, that's ironic, because she's gonna burn Shh, her. don't ruin the play. I said spoiler alert. You're gonna ruin the play. Okay, spoiler alert over. So if you wanted to fast forward from when it says spoiler alert, now you can start watching. Actually, this cutscene is actually really cool. First time you I saw this... You put that annotation in, fast forward for the spoiler now. <laughs> this is Kip's spoiler. Uh, um, no, this cutscene is awesome, man. First time I saw this, whenever it... How old, how old would it 1998. This is when it came out. Okay. Oh, it was 16 years ago. Holy shit, I was really young. I know, right? Okay, well, first time I saw it, it was like, ah, this is cool. Wow. Although I still thought, you know what? As cool as this cutscene is, this particular song they're playing right here, the opera was a lot better in Final Fantasy VI. All right, <laughs> so that's what you're gonna do. Like, all right, welcome to the world of Chris doesn't know shit because I've never completed Final Fantasy VI. Go ahead, spam me in the flame of war. Goes it forward. The opera is pretty cool, mainly just because it gives you like, so I guess it was Celeste's theme. But um, man, that game has such an awesome soundtrack. But I, Your did, eyes are messed up. You know what distance wor- distant worlds is, right? Uh, no. It's like when the like an orchestra goes on tour and does like the music from Final Fantasy series. They came to Toronto a few times. I saw oh, yeah. them. No, okay, yeah, I think I understand. Yeah. I saw them once. You may have seen me wearing the shirt, but anyway, I saw them once, the one one time they came. Yeah. They're so good, and they totally did the opera, and they had people coming out and singing it, and it was so good! Ugh. The only thing weird was, okay, there was these two, there was this couple that was, like, sitting near us, and during the opera, they were like, yeah, it's so cheesy, man. I was like, why are you even here if you don't, like, of yeah, course seriously. it's che- Why are you even here if you're not into this, like, Final Fantasy music? Like, oh. get out of here. Yeah, there was a... Oh, yeah, we're totally talking about this cool cutscene. Look at this guy. He's yeah, falling. He's burning! Luckily, he fell in slow motion, so she was able to dodge it. Oh, well, you know, that's that's her powers. No, yeah, maybe that is. Maybe that was the first indication that she's has uh, powers. Yeah, that's probably true. She neoed it. How did you do that? You move like they did. <laughs> <laughs> Curse on Eve. Also the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes a lot of sense in this game. <laughs> this was the Matrix. The whole game makes sense. So from now on, just think about this as the Matrix. Yeah, see, and she kicked his ass. You don't know what the Matrix is. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you, know, you know what? The Matrix came out the same year as this. Really? Didn't it come out in 98? I don't know. I'm pretty certain. Do- I don't want to go ruffling through my stuff to find out. I'm certain it is. We'll check it at some point. It's we- right there. We'll but I'm going to make so much noise if I go there. We should get it later. <laughs> Google. Funny thing is, you can't, like, ever since the Matrix now, I can't hear the word Neo without immediately thinking of Matrix. Like, I'm currently playing yeah. one of the Atelier games. Atelier Aisha. They pronounce it Aisha, even though it's clearly spelled Aisha. Anyway, um, ugh, what is it? Her sister is named Neo. And she says that name a lot, but it's like N I O. And every time I hear it, I'm with bullets, so you're gonna beat it with the club. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna okay. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna bullet. No, I'm gonna clever. I'm gonna clever. Oh, uh, did you just get hit by that? No. We'll find out. No, no. Well, it's like right in your face. How do I? No, Wait. cancel that. Um. Uh, what the hell is talking about? Right. So every time she says Neo, yeah. I'm just like, what Neo? What? What's, how's he? The chosen ones here? Oh shit. Okay, don't walk into her, or you bounce. <laughs> she bounce. <laughs> Just like real life. Yeah. I ex- you walk into somebody, you're going to bounce back a little bit. Oh, totally. I, um, when I was coming here, I was trying to get on the bus and yeah. like, I bumped into a little guy and, uh, Did you really? Yeah. He was a little guy. I don't know why I said little guy, but I well, bumped what into him. What kind of little person are we talking and about? And I just kind of flew back like five feet and a little three appeared above Is my head. Is this like a, a fully Bullshit. grown adult that was a little person? Was it a child? It was, uh, like... I don't think we need to get into details. Basically, they're smaller than either a little person. Well, I guess you're a fairly large individual, so... I mean, I'm, not like... You're not, like, wide, you're just tall. <laughs> I am ever so slightly above yeah, average, I, mean, I suppose. Actually, no, I'm probably, like, what is average height for, like, North Americans? Like, white North Americans? I don't know. Four feet? No, it's like five it, eight. Isn't, isn't it three foot two? Five eight, five nine? Uh, five, if ten? I think five... Five ten or something is pretty average. Okay. I mean, you're definitely taller than that. Yeah, I'm six. I'm, like, oh, exactly six. Yeah. Okay, so... What happened here is this actress whose name Melissa, for some reason that we don't know yet, has science powers. There's no magic in this game, it's science. Like her science. cells. Her cells. Get, her cells. Dias, what's your oh, problem? He is on the freezer. Her cells give her special powers, 
And then uh, now Beefs41 has special powers. Beefs. Beefs. <laughs> has special powers as well. And uh, yep. Beefs already had superpowers because she was able to conceal a gun, a club, and a bulletproof vest under this dress. That's pretty, some pretty superpowers. That is impressive. The gun alone is, is impressive, I suppose. Oh, damn it. Look what I did. Look what I did. Wasting all this time. You ruined it all. Restart this whole episode. It's a bust. All right. I hate everything. Uh, fast forward. Look at this. We're already at yeah, 10 we're minutes. There. We're not even gameplay yet. <laughs> oh, there's a box. I want that box. Oh, you can't get the box. I'm so excited. Where's no, the I box? Can't. I can. I can get You it. can get the box? Where's the box? You can tell because like everything is pre-rendered oh, is except box. the box. Yeah. It's over in the right. I think, Forget it. I think... Go- no! I think you can go talk to the backup as well, and maybe they give you guns or something. I or you have the option know. of standing here forever. Stand here for six a- Oh, yeah, that was totally worth <laughs> Medicine. Uh, oh, she's Stand here for six hours, and then be like, this game's way longer than six hours. Game Pro lied to me. Game Stupid Pro. Game you know, Pro. Okay. My brother used to buy Game Pro. I always bought Game Players. Uh, which, uh, I didn't like either of them. Well... Honestly, neither of them were all that good, but Game Pro was just like, here's the, here's the straight dope. Here's the, I don't know if they talk like that, but here are the facts on how to play the game and like the secrets. And game players was kind of like that, but they had like, it was weird. Like all their, uh, review guys and, and all that stuff, they were like, it feels like they could have been writing for like crack.com, like nowadays. Uh, they yeah. were like, they were all really funny. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I always felt like, uh, Game Pro I didn't really just have go. real information in it. Huh? No, like they uh-huh. had like a whole bunch of tidbits of like it was like teaser trailers, like whereas like uh, I guess what did, what did I really follow? I guess at this era in my life, I was paying attention to like official PlayStation magazine, yeah. uh, but it wasn't very good either. The only reason I I liked it was that yeah, it had the a science at work. Science. Yep. Science rules. See, that cell was the bad cell and made the other cell oh, bad too. No. That's how science works. Oh no, the poor mousy. No mousy, what happened? Science gives you no bad No science, Mousy! <laughs> okay, so, um... <laughs> I was in PlayStation Magazine back uh, when, you know, PlayStation 1 was out. Uh, I think they did this all the way up to until, like, pretty much PS3 when it became irrelevant, was they gave out a demo disc with every issue of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, now, mind you, this this magazine was expensive because of it. It was, like, 11 or $12 Canadian. Which is a lot of money for a magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. crit, kill one hit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like the information, the, the, they weren't super great, but you, you got to play games, which now is... <laughs> cats. <sighs> um, so yeah, that that uh, that's why I, I did that, but I always felt like Nintendo Power had the best information. Yeah, Nintendo Power is always pretty good. Um, um, uh, I, I did get one awesome thing from game players, though, man. Occasionally they gave out demo disc as well but like a pc demo disc and <gasps> oh that clown boy why uh, aren't you burning he burns later okay uh right that that demo disc that i had that pc demo disc man like it had games on it where like that was the first time i played Sweet, uh striking a pose <laughs> that was the first time i ever played uh dude nukem 3d huh? so then i i went out to buy it after actually no it didn't even have a demo disc it had a oh you know what it had a video it was like a trailer for i think duke 64 which is just a 64 version of Duke Nukem 3D, but uh, so that was awesome. It was the it was the shaft theme, but instead of the that was replaced with bullet sounds, and then they were singing about Duke. It was funny. Totally made me want to play the game, and uh, it had a demo for Age of Empires. First time I ever played an RTS, so I, I had fond memories of that demo disc. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. No, I, I really enjoyed uh, official PlayStation magazine because oh, I, uh, I got to play a lot of interesting games that way, and uh, like nowadays, it's so easy to like get a game demo. But back then, like if you wanted to play a game that wasn't released or you hadn't played before, like the only options were to rent it. That was it. Um, so it really gave like a lot of options, and like they'd usually give like a full stage you could play. Um, and uh, eventually, um, I started playing like a lot of Dreamcast. Uh, at the same kind of era, because it was out there, and like most PlayStation One t- titles came out on Dreamcast, but looked so much better. Um, so I ended up uh, playing a lot of stuff on there, and uh, there was a Dreamcast magazine. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it also came with demo discs. But the important thing about the Dreamcast one was the demo discs were the only way to get the updated web browser that had Flash in it, so that you could actually watch the internet properly which was pretty cool watch the internet <laughs> well back in the day uh but like 
at the time, like, this, this is way before iPhone and stuff, but, like, this is when, like, Flash was starting to take off, and pretty much everything on the internet used, like, Flash, but uh, the, the original browser just didn't handle it, and, uh, you know, trying to... Wow, old-timey stuff. <laughs> Going on the internet on a Dreamcast on a 56K modem... <laughs> Watching Flash videos that didn't run properly. Ah, uh, dude, I still remember, like, 56k modem playing, like, uh, Diablo, Diablo 1 online, Battle.net, and, um, every time someone picked up the phone getting disconnected and stuff, but, uh, I, um, back then we had, like, there was, I, I don't know if, like, unlimited, yeah, I'm sure unlimited internet plans existed and stuff, but I think we had 120, uh, episodes over. So I'll continue this story later. Okay. Too bad. Wait. See you later, guys. Don't die. Yeah, I know. I haven't saved yet. No, oh, that'll be brutal. Don't do that. Don't die. I don't know. I'm just get to die. Yeah, okay. No, check out these skills. Look. Yeah. Some mad Beefs 41 <laughs> skills. Beast 41. You don't put Beast 41 in a combo. In a corner. In a combo. No put in a combo either. They're like, hey, man, uh, I'd like to order your Beast 41 combo. <laughs> like, that doesn't come in a combo. It's a la carte only. You, you, can, you can pay for the Beast 41. You can pay for the... So soft drink, and you can pay for the fries, but you can't have them together as a combination price. 